Good morning, my lovely friends. Welcome back to the vlog and happy birthday if today is your birthday. Today, we are going to be talking about some things that I like to do to get out of a rut or at the least make me feel better when I'm just going through it a little bit. Uh, I feel like we've sort of touched on this a little bit on my videos this year, but it's honestly been a really hard start to the year. The first six months, have not been my favorite. So funny, like I had all of these um, expectations for 2022. It's the most out of the pandemic that we've been in the past couple years. And I don't know, I just thought things would be different than they are. I don't even know specifically what those expectations are necessarily, but all I know is this year has not been doing it for me. Now, obviously it's not all bad. Um, hi, Molly. You wanna come cuddle? My little bean's coming in. Hi, girly. You want to come and sit on mama's lap? Come here. Good girl. I wanted to cuddle with you too. Step one, cuddle with your cat or your dog or your bunny or your bird, whatever you have. Truly, Molly Cat cuddles and purrs are so healing to me. When I am sad and she comes to cuddle with me, it means everything. And also, let me just say, I'm actually not sad today. I'm actually doing really well right now, feeling good. But I still wanted to share like some of those things that I do when I am feeling a little down. Is this clip looking a little dark? Let's brighten her up a little. Yeah, I think that's a little nicer. Anyway, back to my ramble about this year. Um, I think like the main point that I wanna make here is that 80% of the time or higher, 90% of the time, I feel fine or good or great, but I've just been having so many more bad days than I've had um, in past years, it feels like. A lot more just teary days, sad days, where I just like wake up and I just don't feel good. I don't wanna think too hard about it, honestly, because it puts me in a shitty mood. <laughs> but just really low self-confidence, self-worth, a lot of like negative self-talk from myself, you know? And I don't know why. It's just one of those years, I guess. I don't know. But no, I keep catching myself doing this where I'm like 2022 is the worst. I hate 2022. And I keep, as soon as I think that, I come back to myself and I'm like, Jill, you know what? It is only halfway through slash technically like five months and two weeks into 2022. There's still plenty of time to turn it around. And honestly, things have been turning around a lot over the past month. I just gotta, I gotta work on boosting my self-confidence, you guys. I don't know what's, why I'm so low. Hi, baby. Such a good girl. You make me so happy, yeah. Yes, you do. So anyway, that's my little ramble about how I've sort of been feeling this year. And even though I'm feeling good right now, we're still gonna, you know, talk through some stuff that I like to do when I'm having a bad day. First of all, being open up the windows. As you can see, mine's already open. It doesn't help that today is a super gray day outside. Not ideal. <laughs> Definitely, oh no, oh no, my laugh. She hates when I laugh when she's cuddling with me. <laughs> Sunny days certainly do me way more good than cloudy days. Let's see if the sun's gonna break through today. It says around 11 a.m., so that's not too bad. It's 8.45 right now, and it's gonna be beautiful, knock on wood, all weekend long. So very, very excited about that. And, you know, aside from just opening the windows, also going outside and getting, you know, some vitamin D definitely helps. So hopefully if the sun breaks through, we can do a little bit of work outside in a bit here. Fingers crossed. So another thing that I like to do when I'm in a bit of a rut is just to not be so hard on myself, you know? Um, I find when I'm in a rut that I'm, you know, making myself wake up early and work extra hours and all this stuff and it just really doesn't help. So I try to remind myself to just give myself a little bit of a freaking break and check if there's anything urgent, take care of it, but otherwise like take it a little bit easy. So I already checked my email this morning. There is nothing that needs to be taken care of immediately in the next, you know, 30 minutes. So instead of starting work early, I'm going to spend some time reading my book on my Kindle. Right now I'm reading The Last Thing He Told Me, which I am super enjoying. It's really, really entertaining. So. I'm gonna spend just 20 or 30 minutes reading my book and doing something that makes me feel good.
Molly cat. Okay, we have to go investigate. Even though I know it's like nothing. Molly, little tiny girl. Why are you just sitting out here crying? Hi, you confused where I went? Where are you going? Okay, stretch it out. Okay, good girl, come with me. Come on, are you coming with me? Yeah, we're going in the bedroom, let's go. Come on, keep it moving. Why are you walking so slow? You wanna follow behind me? That's fine. We're just reading a little in here. <laughs> what a weirdo. You're purring so much? Were you just lonely? You didn't know where mama went? What a strange, strange cat, huh? Yeah, you're weird. I know, but how about you just lay next to me? Just next to me, instead of on top of me. Huh? Just realized, by the way, that I've been wearing this outfit in a lot of videos recently, so sorry about that. You know when you get a new pair of sweatpants and you just, they become like your fixation sweatpants? That's me, so. I'm a little chilly though, so I'm gonna throw this sweater on. Reading was lovely, really, really enjoying that book so far. And now I think I'm gonna do a quick tidy of the bedroom. There's like some clothes and stuff over here that I've been meaning to put away for a couple of days. My vanity is like a little bit dirty. I just find that like my bedroom gets a little dirty over the weekend. I'm a little more like just throwing stuff around rather than putting them back. So I'm gonna do a quick little tidy up here. I was also thinking I'm going to wash our sheets sounds nice and just get things feeling really nice and fresh and then we need to get to work washer towels that just got moved into the dryer which i'm feeling lovely about it means that we'll have fresh sheets and fresh towels today which is just luxurious feeling honestly and now we get to work it is now 10 45 a.m and i'm just about to work out i have a workout at 11 which actually i truly never thought i would say this but working out makes me feel so much better on days when i'm just feeling down you know, I was actually talking about this recently with Kaya who teaches my workout classes and how just working out is like the first thing to go. When I'm having a really busy day, I'll get rid of that in like a second and how I'm trying to change that mindset because it just, even like on a busy day, it helps to center me, it helps to call me. It's a great way to end my day when I'm doing like a 5 p.m. workout. It's just really one of those things that I need to push myself to not blow off um, unless like it's absolutely necessary. So with that being said, I am definitely going to get a workout in today. I'm gonna go get changed. And then after that, I'll probably just hop in the shower and make some lunch. Molly. <laughs> 90 degrees, extend long, back to 90, reach your legs up to the sky. So one leg lift. Exhale, fold forward into your plank, bring your right foot into your hands, drop your back knee. Sit up tall for a hip flexor stretch. Just take these last few moments to release anything in your body that needs to release any tension in your mind, any tension in your body, in your muscles. Lunch time, I have a salad here, delicious, I am loving it. I also just changed it to some comfy clothes because I figured we could maybe get out of the house a little later this afternoon. We didn't need anything fancy, so this will do the trick. <laughs> mm, this salad is so good. Workout was great, felt amazing to move my body. It always feels so good to eat something healthy right after a workout. Disappointing though, the weather has not gotten any nicer, which definitely sucks. Oh well though. Next up on my list of things that often makes me feel a lot better is just actually getting ready. Like I'm all for those days where you're just in 
a gloomy mood and you just sit there in all of your glory <laughs> at home all day and just like mope around, I am all for those days. But I also think there is something to be said about like getting up and getting ready and like feeling like you look good on days when you're just not feeling that good. Something about it like can translate, you know? I don't think I want to do anything too much today, just like nice fresh skin and maybe like some feathery eyeliner or something. So I'm gonna use a bit of this CC Nude Glow from IT Cosmetics. Just use that to help sort of even out my skin tone. My tanner's starting to get a little patchy. I need to reapply tomorrow, but that's tomorrow's problem. Let's bronze up this skin a little. And I'm thinking about just taking this bronzer over my eyes as well. Pretty pinky blush. And no highlight today, I think I'm gonna skip it. But I am going to add a little bit of this sort of like mauve pink blush. It has like very, very fine glittery pieces in it. For the eyes, like I said, like light feathery eyeliner, so I'm gonna use some eyeshadow for that, just like a dark brown. Get a little line in there and across here. I like that. Someone commented on one of my videos recently that I apply my mascara weird. Do you guys think I apply my mascara weird? How else am I supposed to apply it? I guess it because I blink down on the wand a little bit. Is that strange? By the way, I should have mentioned this earlier, but sorry for the background noise. Dryer is still running. Alrighty, there we go. Okay, I'm out running some errands now and it just feels so good to get out of the house when you're in a grumpy mood. Like there's just something about getting out of your environment and like distracted by other things that just always helps even if you're just going for a quick drive, running somewhere just really quickly. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, but it just is always helpful. So I'm going to just get out, get some errands done and um, I'm also thinking that I'm gonna stop for a little sweet treat somewhere because balance, right? We had a healthy, <laughs> We had a healthy lunch, so we can have a sweet dessert. Eating something sweet also always puts me in a pretty good mood. Actually, my mom used to tell me this, like if you pop like a sweet candy in your mouth, it like releases endorphins. That puts you in a better mood, a better mindset. So I always like to have something just like little and small. Plus when I'm running errands, I need to just like go through a drive through and, and get something because I don't know. It's just part of the ritual. It's part of the reward, you know? You run an errand, you get a treat. It's like a reward. That TikTok sound, that's me. <laughs> well, I got my little treat, went to McDonald's, got myself some french fries, which are hitting the spot. So good, oh my God. And a medium sweet tea, my go-to snack when I'm running around doing errands. I definitely didn't need the fries. Oh my God, this person is so close to my car, holy shit. Did I hit my car, hunty? Anyway, didn't need the fries, but they're just a delicious treat, so why not? Well, you guys, I have just been running around, running errands for the past hour and a half-ish. Felt great to get out of the house, have my little McDonald's snack here. <laughs> mm, delicious. Would have been nicer if I could like roll the windows down and have like sunny weather and enjoy it in that way, but that's okay. Just getting out of the house and like running around and making yourself busy honestly can make all the difference. So anyway, with that, Let's go home. We are back home and the last thing that I am going to do today um, that I do often when I just need to cheer myself up a bit is to go out with some friends. So I'm going out with some girlfriends for dinner tonight, going out with Shelby and Kate, which should be really fun. I'm checking out a restaurant that I've never been to before called Mercado. It's Mexican. I have been wanting to try it for quite some time, but I just have not been able to yet. I don't know, I just haven't made it there. So, very excited that tonight is finally the night. I'll show you what I'm wearing in a moment. I already got changed, um, but let me do my lips first. I got all of these in my last video, by the way, if you wanna see like a full little drugstore makeup haul. 
I feel like the rest of my makeup is fine. I'm really not going to do anything. Alrighty, we love it. Here is Z Fit. Love these cute little pink trousers. I'm glad I kept them in my closet clean out. Liking the shirt too, I just rolled it up so it would be a little bit more cropped. And we are heading out. Kate is picking me up in her Uber in just a few minutes. Cheers! <laughs> With the gals. The gals. Look who's vlogging. I can't believe it. Shocking. I've seen this video in two months. Yep. <laughs> Fish tacos all around because we are so original. Very original. <laughs> Got a Palan set to our table because the hostess watches Shelby's channel. So thank you, Shelby. Shout out to that girl. So nice. I've actually never tried Palan before, so I'm very excited. Vanilla based eggnog. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Back home, such a fun night out with Kate and Shelby. And um, I need to get this makeup off now. It's been on my face for far too long. I'm very sad I came home and the sheets in the dryer are not totally dry yet. So we're running it again, but our bed. I need to buy us an extra pair of sheets. Cause it's silly. But it is 9.30 now. But Connor is out there watching the South Bar movie. Look at how crazy I look. Let me finish getting this makeup off and then we can chat when I look a little less single. This cat is going crazy. She's so hyper amped. Molly. Molly cat. Okay, now that I look mostly normal again, I really need to um, <laughs> fix myself tan. Let me see if I can maybe just like, that just makes so much worse. Oh my God. <laughs> you guys, it's fine. I'm redoing my self tanner tomorrow. Everything. It's okay, just ignore what I just did to myself. Oh yeah, now that my makeup is off and I look less crazy, although now I've just done this to myself, I am just going to wrap up my evening with watching an episode of The Flight Attendant. I have been very into this new season of The Flight Attendant. I like it so much more than the first season. I really liked the first season too, don't get me wrong, but this new season, blowing my mind. By the way, I'm just focusing on my skincare, sort of avoiding, hello. No, I just did that. Avoiding the areas where I have some zits because I want to put some zit patches on and they don't stick as well when you have skincare on, obviously. Mm -hmm.